was like two years old, I saw, um, I was watching the Olympics and I said, I want to learn how to do that. I want to do that. You know, we've all had dreams like that. But for Katie Lynn Walton, the odds were against her from the beginning. At a glance, her disabilities would impede her and so many others from realizing any aspiration that involves skiing down a mountainside. But for Katie, that dream is not out of reach. Not anymore. Enter the Snow Basin Adaptive Sports Education Foundation. It's a family thing. It's given the opportunities for families who have children and adults with various disabilities to be able to come out and through our adaptive sports program, whether they're standing up on skis, on a snowboard, or sitting down where they don't have the use of their legs, to be able to ski together and learn this beautiful sport and be, be in the outdoors. Well, this, this, this is a bike ski, and as you sit in it and tip it one way or the other, the skis articulate so that they can edge. The student that rides in the sled by shifting his weight from left to right can make the sled turn. This nonprofit foundation has worked for the last three years to provide disabled individuals the chance to hit the slopes. Donations go toward paying for equipment and training that opens up the Utah mountains to these special skiers, either for the first time or returning them to a cherished environment. I've skied for over 30 years uh, before I got uh, multiple sclerosis and had to stop. I never thought I'd be able to do it again, and uh, I was a, used to be an adrenaline junkie and liked the expert skiing, extreme skiing stuff. And to get on that and just go down to Bunny Hill was a total adrenaline rush and a great experience. Volunteers teach program participants how to ski safely on this Olympic mountainside and dedicate their time to the cause. The payoff for them goes far beyond just dollars and cents. It's the smile and the look on the face of the student as well as the family members. I used to ski with the family all the time. I taught my son. He started at the age of two skiing and he's 23 right now. And that was the family thing to go out and do it again. And uh, I've been up with my kids a couple times already. They've been up with me. And uh, it was a sign I thought I'd never be able to do again and being able to go down and ski with them again, it gave me something back I thought I'd never have. If it weren't for these people, Katie wouldn't have realized a dream to be able to ski. It's exciting. I probably make a bit of a fool of myself chasing them around with the camera, uh, watching them come down, but I love every minute of it. I, I love seeing the smiles on their faces, and Katie can be kind of scary at times. She can pick up some speed, and, and Zachary has come leaps and bounds. He's all smiles. It's just really nice to see my kids excel at something that uh, they've learned to love. Events are held to introduce would-be adaptive skiers to the sport with all proceeds going to the foundation. Donations are, of course, always accepted. None of us want to be told our dreams are out of reach, be they competing in the Olympics or just skiing down a bunny hill at least in the case of the simple thrill of carving a mountainside. The Adaptive Sports Education Program has you covered. For At Your Leisure, I'm Terry Wood.